All right, we should be live. We're back. It's midweek magic. It's a phantom sealed. It's going to be Bloomborough, it looks like. So we're just going to start button and see what we open. Nope. Yeah, just regular Bloomborough, phantom sealed. All your daughters now, apparently? I mean, literally all of my rares are some variant on red and or blue, so... We're definitely going to try and figure out how to get Ral in there, and we're probably running red just for the byway. I can see red-blue being correct with Kitsa. So this is the one. Cast a non-creature spell, you may discard a card and draw a card. Non-creature spells cost mm -hmm. one less. And if a source you control would deal non-combat damage to an opponent or a permanent opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus two instead. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Balin is just hanging out there because he feels... <clears throat> Uh, have a carrot cake. Two, oh, two carrot cakes, two life Cree duos. Um, so our white is not terrible at all. There's an intrepid rabbit. Star Charter's fine. Waxwain witness. <clears throat> our blue is, uh, well, we have a dazzling denial. There are two splash portals. They do cantrip. I don't see a ton of the blue cards I want to blink, though. Uh, we have a looter is good. Formation's fine. We don't have a lot of non-creature spells in blue. We have, like, the two portals and dire downdraft. Black has triple saver. Ooh, triple saver. Thoughtstalker warlock. Um, downwind ambusher. We're in sealed, so monolith is fine. Early winter. Uh, Red has take out the trash. It has two Heartfire heroes. Or heart, Heartfire or Hearthfire? Heartfire. Uh, Whisker, Squill, Cro Whisker, Whisker, Quill, Scribe is fine. Uh, Raccoon Rallier is decent. We have a boar. Our green is a Baker's Bane duo. A cash grab. Silver protect. Tree Tree Root Weaver. Two of, them. Two of them. Okay, that actually does do a little bit. <clears throat> um, we have a bruiser. We have a cultivator. Two bruisers. The household. It's the Balin. We have three fountain port bells. Can run whatever you want. I can, yeah, I can run whatever I want. I can also run like 14 land if I want to. All right, so the black has really caught my eye. It's the triple savers mm -hmm. that, that are doing it for me, but it has almost no creatures worth talking about, so I don't know if that's good enough. If we bring in the heroes, Rallier, the take out the trash. Two scribes, byway barter, this thing. Not a big fan of that one. Quake Tusk Boar. <sighs> like, I wonder if we're just splashing black for its removal and we're like red green. We like splash a row, splash. Because that gives us two, three trees, all of the bells and whistles <laughs> at this point. I don't know if we want both paw patch. One is definitely worth considering. Okay, though. I did not realize that you had two of them. Um, cash grab is fine, but not essential. If I you're need... thinking about red green, you probably want the bruiser. It's kind of silly if you can keep them going. Yeah. How many token? How many tokens do we make if we wanted to run Balin? If we wanted to splash Balin while I'm at it? Does he only care about creature tokens? Uh, Balin is two untapped tokens, so all of the savers make tokens. Yep. Baker's Bane duo, all patch formation. I'm kind of sad that they gave your rares the best otter setup you were ever going to hope for. And, and then there are no <laughs> other otters in the entire thing that are even worth kind of thinking about. All right, so we, I don't know that... All right, so the black, I'm almost definitely running primarily for the savers at this point. Probably don't want the warlock either. Warlock is so good, though. It doesn't... Oh, wait, I'm... 
Is he the just take a card? Okay. He I, always takes a card, and I if you hit them, you get to choose the, the card. Other, with the rat that lets them um, choose if they want to discard a card, pay three life, or sack. Oh, no, no. That's the thorn plate. Um, I don't know that we need Balin. Because if I, if I want Balin in, then I kind of feel like I need the head of the household or something. And, like, Balin's fine, but you kind of want to get to, like, four tokens. So that it has, well, so like... how do you target your own things? How do I target my own things? You have two Heartfire Heroes, two Whiskerwell Scribes. How do you target your own things? Um, right now I think it's primarily Overprotect and Three Tree Scribe. So... I don't really. Like, maybe we're cutting them. Hang on, I'm still trying to figure... I'm just putting in the good cards right now and trying to figure out if I'm doing the thing with them or not. Um, Corpse Berry is probably worth considering. Alright, so if we just jam those in there while we're at it. And we bring in... So right now you have none of your Fountain Port Bells in. I know. I'm trying to decide if I'm, like, how many of them I'm actually going to run, because if I run too many, then I go down too low on actual lands, because you kind of want to at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, you bring in three bells, you're cutting two lands, so. I don't know if I want the share pot at all, because we don't have a, we only have, like, that, and I, I don't even have early winter in the deck, do I? You yeah. do not. Alright. So yeah, we have like that in early winter for killing big problematic things. Um, okay, remind me, what does Festival do? Oh, it's when... So... Oh, okay. Everything yep, gets exiled. As soon as I started yeah. reading it. Yeah, there's probably a deck for it somewhere, but I don't think it's a limited deck. I think it's a card that you play in a constructed format where you have a plan with it. You gotta do the cool thing. Hidden Grotto is almost definitely coming in. Um, probably run the Haven, too. Go. That's one, two. Yeah, I probably cut the Hearth Fires. Scribes. Um, yeah, because we have enough other two-drop creatures. Maybe we don't need all three bells, maybe two bells. It's fine, and we cut the two lands for it, and we just go... Going to do, do you that. Need three swamps if you're going to uh, run two bells and two root weavers. No. Probably switch that for like a forest or something. Yeah, definitely forest. Um, I don't need all of the five drops. So. Of your five drops, the bruiser is the least, least impressive. Least impressive, yeah. Which is saying a lot because he actually is pretty good. No, six, actually, six, six six trample for five. I'm wondering if, like, the Bruiser is just better than the Lynx. I'm running two non-basic lands. I don't need to ping myself. All right. Let's give it a shot. See how it plays. Oh, no. It's the Candy Man. Don't say his name two more times. Seems like a hand. I went through all this trouble to build this really cool, like, splashing all the colors deck, and I'm just a red-green. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Um... Yeah, okay, let's play the bell. Let's go get a black. Oh, now you've convinced your opponent that you're squirrels. Yep. Sure is a point of damage I just took. Okay, so we play that. The scribe. Not my scribe. Sorry, wrong three tree creature. That's the scribe. This is the root weaver. Don't don't you be mean. Probably afford to lose the rallier. That's what I'm thinking too. I think it's the rallier in the mountain here. Oh, yeah. you can only attack me for one now because you cast your spell pre-combat. Okay, we're definitely doing that now. That's way better. Who 
have another, another psychic, psychic whirl. whirl. Overprotect, yeah. I'd like to keep the two cards in my hand, thank you. As long as you have a land, but that one comes in. I'm gonna play top, so play the top land. We cast the 4 4. Um, I guess I just named blue. That, that'll mess with them pretty good. Yeah, now you can basically try and make them use overprotect by blocking their 2 3 whenever you want. Okay. Be be a five five if they cast over protect on him and they get to kill my four four. Yep. Um. He, wait, does he also gain indestructible? Yes. So yeah, he will live through this. Yeah, he's gaining indestructible. He's only killing the one creature. Okay, so yeah, you just want that out of their hands. Or actually, hang on. Since I'm gonna lose the creature anyway, what if we you block two of their two of creatures? their creatures so that way they lose a creature guaranteed? Like, they can save one of their guys, but they're only saving one of their guys here. Probably saving the 2-3, because mm -hmm. he kills the yeah. other body. Yep. Alright, so... Yep, let's make two bodies. <clears throat> well, your opponent did some cool things, but... That's fine. Um, they have no cards in their hand. They yeah, can it's him one, so he will trade for the two two. Is he colorless? No, oh. it's not even colorless. Yeah. Oh, they tapped wrong. Then. Yeah. No, they didn't tap wrong. They only have they one black. Oh. All right. Yep. Um. All right. So let's crack that first. See what we got. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah, especially since it's gonna let me draw two cards here and kill their two three. I would like to discard <laughs> my hand. Thank you. And draw two fresh cards. Uh, now I get to discard a forest because I have a raccoon in play. I mean, yes, you have to get through all of those lands anyway, but no, this is fine. I know. Everything's great. I love Magic: The Gathering. Watching this, remember this in like three games. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there's Rao. Uh, is trying your. Black I know, source. like it. It's still gonna go through that, but I could play my land out instead. Um, and savor in response, and then discard your hand. I don't think I want to, actually, because I want the, like, Rao gets bonuses don't, for the... Do not take action. Yeah. No, I know, I was hovering over it, but I know. Because oh, Rao gets gosh, more loyalty. You get to be my protege today. Alright, so, kill that. Buff Rao. Aha! A solution! And they're off it. Game. I can't imagine why. Um, I've only four played four colors, colors worth of <laughs> spells. It's fine. First you were green, then you were red, then you were black, and now you're blue, and you've thrown all four of those colors directly into their face as they are trying desperately to claw back into this game that they had control over. Right up until you discarded their second um, Mind psychic whirl. whirl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Hitting them... And playing the playing the Thought Stalker Warlock is 100% what won the game there. If they had gotten to cast that thing, I would have lost because I would have lost both of mm -hmm. my spells, and I wouldn't have been able to stabilize against their uh, evasive creatures. All right, let's find another opponent.
Ah, man, this isn't an evil spirit that can be summoned by saying its name. They are not ready for Duskmorn. A bit awkward, but... Ah, it seems fine. I have four out of five mana for my guy. I'm ramping. I have the color fixing both for that and that to cast Saver, so... And I can cycle this if I need to. Ah, that seems fine. Plus, I get a stride when I play this, or Surveil, rather. I want to play that turn one, right? I think I run out the forest first. Depends on what I draw. Okay, never mind. That's great, magic's great. Yep. Now do I run it out because I don't want to draw more land? Guess that's fine. Yeah. Sure you don't want to draw more land. Yeah, we can build that. That's fine. <laughs> On profit. Also, silly opponent, what are you doing only running one color so far? Um, on stock brawl twice? <laughs> no. Well, I am very tempted to savor that and play out my scribe. I think that's what we're going to do here. Because we don't need them ramping with that thing, even if they don't have great attacks with it. In their way. Which apparently was enough to stop them, so good for him. into their truck? Yep. Okay. Well, either they have it, or they weren't dealing with the 2-3, now they have to deal with the 4-5 that's going to be a 6-6 six, six whenever it wants to be. dealing with it, so they're definitely not dealing with the bigger one. That's a little bit disappointing. Uh, your opponents are trying to build fun decks. Oh, cool. Oh, no, for a second there I actually thought that was Innkeeper's Talent. Mm. Uh, Hunter's Talent. I was like, oh, cool, I got another one of those. No, Yaris is not a decent consolation. Sorry, Yaris. I mean, I'll take a free rare, because the more rares you have, the more likely you are to get gems when you do things. Oh, there's a flying hippo. Once again, I am just a red-green deck. Nothing special to see here. Please move along. I'm on the play, though, so... We hit, like, one more forest for that. That works. Um, yeah, let's cast him first. Because then I get to double spell next turn if I want to. If I draw land. If I don't draw land, at least I get to run out other stuff, so. Ah, perfect. Let's, uh... let's cast Baker's Bane. My food. It's a 2 3. Hey, right, here you go, opponent. It's your cool trick. Played a 1-1 one, one and you're curving out. Because you, you seem to be starting the same way my last opponent did. Oh yeah, no, this is this is not the best for the opponent here. Wow, ah, they, they hit a forest directly off the top. They are having a wonderful time playing Magic then. Um the Rampager? Um it would make your guy a 3-3. Three, three. I know, but. If I cultivate her, I can take out the trash still. Yeah, they're I currently guess... red green, so yeah. they're, they're not wrapping this board. Eh, that's true. 3 3 2 3? Three. 1 3 probably doesn't need to attack. Yeah, but I'm also not doing anything with its mana, and this way, like, if they put the 1 2 on it, then they're not. 
um, double blocking anything either, so. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking they had, like, some kind of double block there, but they didn't. Or the, the, I was thinking he was a 1-3 is what it was. Mm -hmm. Like, he could block. Like, it's a ramping creature for, you know, in this set. Clearly it's a 1-3. It's fine. Ah, Splash Lasher to lock down my 4-4. Four -four. That seems and, and be a target for my 3 damage burn spell. That also seems fair. Cycle this first, see if I get a better card. Because I don't really want to discard any of the cards in my hand. I guess I just don't discard any of the cards in my hand and I save it for later and we kill their guy. Plus they're green, they could have like Hunter's Talent or Innkeeper's Talent or the Weapon Smith. Yeah, we don't Blacksmith's Talent. We don't want any of the talents <laughs> in their color combination. Except maybe artists, because they don't seem to be And that's another opponent that realizes they are way too far behind already. Um not really. I didn't get to do anything cool and my opponent just died. I have so many cool cards not in my deck. Not the red-green deck that did red-green deck things. Yeah, but I did like the normal red-green stuff. Yeah, it's cool smash. Oh, I got the style for Rotten Mouth Viper. I'm like, oh, cool, I got Rotten Mouth. It's like, no, you get you got the you got the 3D artwork that if I stare at too long, it makes my head hurt. I think done anything outside of limited. Uh, there's a standard deck that's trying to run it where they use um, carrot cakes and whatnot to mm. build up a large number of permanents that they don't mind sacrificing and then, like, cast them on four mana. I killed one earlier today, so... No? <laughs> so that's not really a... Uh... Ringing endorsement? No. Because <laughs> it's not like I build, like, tier one standard decks or anything. Although maybe they didn't have the tier one version of it, so. See, here we go. I have two uncastable spells. This is perfect. Cycle that paw patch for me. Okay, never mind. We're going to cast Baker's Bane Duo. First. In a moment. Ah. No. Yeah, it's fine. It's just Kitsa. They're like one bell away from being, it's just Kitsa, it's fine. No. Now you don't want to die to any spell out of their hand? Literally any spell, and they also literally don't lose their creature regardless of what spell it is? No. Okay. Yep, first is fine. <sighs> I mean, you could get lucky and make a look for any camera pizza or something. That'd be neat. What's the loot? the village. Yeah, okay. So counter on each of the appropriate types that came this turn? Yep. Ah, neat. They have a 4-4. Four four. But now they can't really attack. Unless they want to... I was going to say, they can attack with their 2-1 and I can trade with it since my guy can't block their other thing anyway. This is fine. Okay, it's less fine now that the Overprotect has shown up. Alright, we need to cycle this now. I'm gonna draw a card and make a food token. Alright, there's Fountain Port Bell. So, we get to... Play the bell, go get an island. 
This is the island you want? Yeah, um, actually... Uh, I guess we need to get the swamp first so we can kill the 4-4, four because four, otherwise Rao's tokens can't block and they'll overwhelm Rao before I can set up and overprotect for him. So yeah, let's get the swamp first. Plan, draw a card. Yep. Only got three cards left in their hand, so. Hey. Yeah, let's just hit it while they're topped out. Yep, the share pot's just gonna sit here ominously. The share pot's gonna kill a four or five flyer. Alright, I think at some point in time I'm going to need to draw creatures. Pretty sure I put some number of them in my deck. Not going to draw creatures, I desperately need to draw an island. I wouldn't... Nah. Meanwhile, they were just pitching all of their land, so... Yeah. They're good. I'm wondering if I should have killed Kitsa, but... Because they get to keep cycling things. Because that's definitely going to kill me in the long term. Oh, they... Alright, so... This is a good turn to kill Kitsa, then. Just to get her off the table. Like, one more cycle with her. Unless they have... Is there one blue? Yeah, there is. Well, if there is, you can savor her after that. Ah, uh, that won't do any good. It's, savor doesn't kill her to begin with. No, after, if they... Oh, no, it, it will oh, counter right, the... the hexproof. Yeah. Well, okay. that's a good sign. Eh, not necessarily. They were going to loot with her regardless, so... This it's way they could... They, did that first. they can make me think they didn't have it when they had it the whole time. All right. Care to play your land at all? I don't think so. I don't think anybody else loots. Oh, yeah, Raul does loot. That's okay. minus. I'm like, wait, does Raul require me to discard for the other thing? And it's like, yes. Yes, he does. So, yeah, even more reason to hold on to an extra mountain. Yep. This is a 5-5. Five five. That surveils. Also, they played Fountain Port. That might be an issue later on. Issue right now. Also, do you... I was going to say, do you want to use those tokens for anything? Not yet. Alright. Oh, this is awkward. I feel like one of us is going to have to leave this game, and it might be me. Are you okay for right now? Alright, so they're going to target the 1-1 one -one to blink it, and I'm going to kill it in response. They don't get a card draw off of it. But now they have a 3-3 flyer to attack Rao with, so that's not great. save it somehow anyway. Um, okay. that doesn't work on any of the things. Oh, no, it is a frog. Right, it's a frog bird. Sorry, I was thinking it was just a bird. I forgot it's a duo. Hey. I want to eat some of that food. Yeah. Not have much time to eat food after this. Yeah, we're eating food now, but unfortunately that's going to be enough to kill Raul. Right? Or no, it's going to be just short of killing Raul. Oh, hey, a creature showed up. Um, so we go red, blue, and one, two. Uh, you... I need the green, yeah. So one, oh, two, so I'm gonna have to tap the... I'm gonna have to play the mountain is the problem mm -hmm. to hold up over protect and the fire. I've got a whole... Or, sorry, not fire. I know what I mean. Trust me. I'm a professional. Together we can shift the current. Alright. 
Well, that's annoying, because now they're not going to attack their 5-5 five five into this, so... Um, no, they're targeting the 1-3. Yeah, that's true. And then we let them attack with the 5-5, five five, and they'll... Ah, uh, but... Eh. Your guy will get plus 3, plus 3, and then prowess. Yeah, but it's still going to have trample, so it's still going to kill Ral if they push no, both of them not. out. If they push both of them at him? Ral's only... Uh, Ral's gonna go to 6... We're not going to trample... Oh, no, we don't trample over for one. Never mind. Or we oh, trample yeah, over for exactly one. But, yeah. But it's going to be two. That they needed to kill him. Okay. Uh, we block Or they them. have something here and you're just dead anyway. Oh, but yeah. But that was always true. I've calculated exactly what I need. Okay. You ought to knock that off. Oh, the flyer went at you. Oh, yeah, I thought they were both going at Ral. Okay. Uh, well, that's five damage in the air. Do I have to minus Ral here? To look for a non-land? To look for spells? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. I thirst for information. Or a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, breach. Breach, trample, haste, yeah. Yep. I'm just looking to see if I can do anything else, and the answer is, no, not really. Eat some food. I can eat some food. And Ral's already been activated, so we pass. Alright, you were right. Charging Monster Store did need, or did need breach. Fortunately, that's not enough. Yep. Well, maybe they still attack me. Without killing Ral here. Yep, they want to draw more cards. Oh, even the other one attacking Ral kills him. Yeah, I know. Or wait, can it only target the thing with bigger They're power? killing Ral anyway. Okay. They are killing Ral here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. I'm curious why they didn't attack well, me for two. This was wasted time. I guess they're scared of the last card in my hand. Yeah, okay, let's eat some more food. This was the game where I used Paw Patch Patrol, like, yes. way earlier, right? Okay. I believe so, at least, because you needed to find your land. Yeah, uh, but we're getting really close, and it's not going to take much. The bright side is that, aside from their Doomsday Flyer, their other things don't really get in the way of my back-to-back -back angry raccoon, so... Yep, so even if they make tokens, they don't really block particularly well here. I'm curious why they made one now. I am also curious about that. I was going to say something, and then I stopped. I'm like, why did they do that now? Hey, uh, okay. um, yeah, let's take five. We'll eat our food. End of turn. Do anything to make me have to eat it now? Uh, 11. Many. Yeah, too many. Way too many. Oh, they've drawn enough cards? Pretty much. Hey, right, let's see if the top card of my deck is relevant. And if it's not, get rid of it. Hey, look, it's not relevant. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to do somehow. something. Yep. Huh. They played a frog last turn, and didn't put a one-one counter on it. 
if they were in any danger of losing this game, that probably would have gotten them killed because that being a 3-2 is huge against these two. I mean, it is, but I still don't see a way that they lose this game. Oh yeah, neither do I. Ah, uh, that's what they were setting up. <laughs> that's what they were trying to set up for, was to get a whole bunch of fishies. Okay. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm super dead either way, so... Mm -hmm. Like, they just drew way too many cards off of Kitsa, so... So, no, don't put a land on top, draw a card, just to make sure. Mm-hmm. Draw land anyway. Yep. Okay, you got it. Don't touch land, draw land. Listen, I played a bell. Clearly there needed to be a land on top of my deck. Yeah, I... maybe I should have killed the Kitsa, but I don't think I win that game either way, because then I'm taking a lot more damage for the one turn, and there's still, like, only one card... Uh, less deep into their deck, so I'm pretty sure... Because I didn't draw I the take out the trash until the yeah. turn where I killed the other thing with the uh, winter, so. Yeah, I don't think you were winning that game regardless, but... Well, here's a game where I can definitely win. I win, so... Oh. Alright, um, I guess we get the swamp first, because Ral's the only thing we really need the island for. This way it turns on all of our savers if we draw them. So we're going to have the Root Weaver anyway, so... Yeah, yes. but Root Weaver can die. No, I mean, you're going to have him anyway, so details. So assuming you can get in, do you get in for one and... Play a 4-3? Uh, yeah, yeah he's he is that one. one. What do you just play the 4-4? Uh, four, four? No, I think I lead with... Like, I want these two in play first, so that way when I cast the 4-4 four, four, I get to discard my hand. So I think I attack for one here, and see if they block. They do block when you play the 3-3, three, three. that's always a 3-3? Three, three. Yep. Joke's on you, opponent. Unless the joke isn't on you, opponent. Uh, your long stock brawl is not going to work out as well as you want it to. Yeah, but Polywop's gonna get there still. Yeah, well, that one always gets there. Really does. Oh. Okay. Hm? They, have, they have downgraded your mana dork into a fish. Yep. <sighs> Please just die directly into it. Yeah, but they've got mana up. I don't want them bouncing both of our guys. No, I mean, you can run your 4-3 directly into their 3-4 and see if they do things. That's true. Like, I didn't want to... I, I don't mind trading, but if they, if they do block... Yeah. Right, we see if they try and save their guy first. Uh, it is overprotect, so... 6-7... So yeah, you just and then, combat. yep, okay, that's fine. We got rid of Overprotect. That's actually way better. We got rid of it defensively, too. Yeah. No trample damage, no anything. Okay. Just and run out our heart. Yeah. Which is a little awkward, because I don't want to draw cards when I'm setting up the uh, barterer, but I also don't want to just discard the saver to run out of 4-4 four -four yet. So. Oh, uh, maybe they'll just kill my barterer here. Um, that's five damage. It's fine. 
and take five. And take five, like, two more times before it becomes an issue. And let's draw a card, see if we get some better options here. There's Aver that you can't cast. Hmm. I can't cast both of them in the same turn. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright, so maybe I don't discard my hand and I run this out. Eventually I'm going to get the saver, like the second saver and share pot in the same turn, discard my hand. In the meantime, this is holding the ground. So, just don't, don't take action yet. Oh, god damn it. Hold on. Oh, if it isn't one of the most broken rares in the set. Yep. Or the 4 4 and 1 1 in front of that? Okay, it's uh, not even coming in. Oh. Well, I am thrilled to see you, Paw Patch Formation. Um. Yeah, we just kill it because mm -hmm. they can it's only have dazzling. No, I mean, like, before we try and do anything cute or anything, they can't bounce it. It has to be a creature for the one spell. Uh, they can't Long Rivers pull it because it's not uh, mine. And Dazzling Lights, they don't have a bird, so they can't counter it. Hey. Right. Um, I think we just pass. You don't run out of the Share Pot? No, because I want to Share Pot and save her in the same turn still. So if they come in, do you try and save her there, guy? I think so. They didn't come in last time when they put the counter on their thing, so... Alright. Okay. Five, six, seven. Still double block my guy and trade for him is the issue. You can just keep passing. You're not in real danger, danger right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> it's starting to get to the point where now I have five mana. Maybe I have to run out the share pot just to be able to kill one of their guys. I mean, there's only one more saver in your deck. You'll eventually draw something you can <laughs> cast. I'm really starting to think they have Dazzling Denial. They keep pausing every time I cast a spell. I mean, yes. <laughs> With two mana up, and... What is the condition? You have to be able to pay two for your spell? Two for my spell, four if they have a bird. Oh, I found my other color now. Hooray! Go for it. Yeah, I think we kill that. See if they do anything here. Bloom Creed Escort. Okay. Alright, that's also fine. Alright, so they had the Escort. They could theoretically still have the Denial too, but I don't think so. Oh, please put on the Escort. Thank you. I'm going to savor this so much. I wish I didn't savor it so much. Alright, kill that now. See if it works. It did. Hooray. And need to run out the Rampager? No. Also... Oh, no. Never mind. I just cast Saver. I'm like, why is my black <laughs> But, yeah. No, we hold on to him because we can Saver and then discard our hand and do cool things. Alright, so they have four cards. Oh, this isn't the one that minuses. This is the one that becomes a big unblockable creature. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can crash in with your 4-4, trade it for possibly the 4-5 when they gang block it. Or the other overprotect in their hand. Yeah, we definitely have to kill that. Okay. And now you play the other one with one and... fresh cards? Yep. Yeah, I don't need to wait on the kid. I'd rather... Get more cards. Yeah, especially if I'm going to burn yep. through all the extra land on top of my deck and try and find one of my four or five drops. 
Yeah, that was uh, something you did not need to spend two more turns drawing. Alright, we hold the Baker's Bane mm -hmm. to try and get more cards. Uh, definitely play the lands out, though, because we're going to wind up discarding them otherwise. Alright, so only their 3-4 can block this. Yep. They want to attack me with their 3-4. I'm all for that. Alright, so that's six cards in their graveyard. Yep. So they're one away from an unblockable two-power creature. They get there this turn. Nope. Saying no. Okay. Hold on. Doesn't get bigger. No. I know. The problem is I am turning on their 2-4 unblockable guy, but I still uh, think I want He doesn't loot when he hits you, right? He's not that one? No, he's just the unblockable Vigilance guy. Yeah, he's fine then. He's not doing anything yeah. to stop you. I mean, he's unblockable. I'm at 12. With five food. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I'm not winning this game. I'm saying if there's a way I'm going to lose, it involves a creature that can keep attacking me that... Only the guy that's currently threatening to kill them that they have to deal with anyway can, you know. You know, this is always going to keep getting in and I can't attack through it. Actually, this is fine because they're probably going to have to lock down the 4-4 anyway. Oh, they're going to draw cards. Okay. Alright. No, that's fine. So I get to go land Quake Tusk Boar. Possibly something else. Unfortunately, he's only a 5-5 five, five on this board. White. So... Yep, can't block him. Take two. Need a snack. Need another one? Yeah, we're gonna well. be spending a lot Yeah, of I'm gonna be spending all my mana on other things. The problem is, is that I'm not getting through anymore, I don't think, and I don't want to... If I cast the Quake Tusk Boar first, I have to decide if I'm discarding my hand so I can't just play the Warlock out. So I think this is think you pre combat Warlock. warlock. First, yeah, yeah. And just take whatever's in their hand that they don't feel like they need. Yeah, okay. I would love to be able to hit them for any kind of damage first, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's realistic here. But they didn't instantly pitch a land, so. Well, they did just draw two fresh cards while mm -hmm. tapping out, and they played a land. Oh, ah. okay. Hey. I would love to discard my hand and draw two cards. I love those two cards. <laughs> those are, like, the best cards ever. So now you just can kill them? I only have two mana, so mm. I can't do both in the same okay. turn, but... Right, Otherwise, I'd be attacking with Baker's Bane and probably the Menace Dude also. Okay. Do it next turn. Apparently. The downside is I'm one point short when they double block with their eight toughness of just killing all of their stuff. Unless they put it on Unless the board. Unless they put it on the board, yep. Ah, uh, they put it on the board. Now that your guy's unblockable and half their life total. Play another white source, kill all my creatures. Nope. Now they just wanted to hit me for two damage first. So like, you're a jerk. <sighs> yeah, no, deck seems good. <laughs> how, how many. Four wins do I need on the day? Oh, I should at least get the 50 gold. We'll do one more, and then we'll call it there so I can export this thing. It'll be about an hour long. That'll be a good midweek magic.
Ooh, um... So, Uncharted what? Haven is a forest. And Fountainport Bell will get the island eventually. I think that's where I'm at. That's fine. I know, but still. You can literally get the island next turn and then you'll just curve out. Into Ral, yep. Hello, Life Creek Duo. Now you can play your entire hand and most of your deck. Imagine they're blocking. Yeah, they weren't. Can't imagine they were blocking there, the, regardless of, of what, what I did. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there's absolutely no way they were blocking. I mean, there is, but that's only because we could be playing against any skill level at this point. There's no rank. There's no thing to encourage. Oh my God! Sweet oh, Jesus. Um. Well, shit. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Attack with your 2 2. That's not even good. If they trade, then they have a 2 3 flyer. I mean, yes, yes but. but... <laughs> that one doesn't keep growing. I mean, they're not going to block specifically because they're going to keep growing their guy, but. Yeah. Alright, Ral. Save me. What one of those does he goes to five here. Saves you. Their guy doesn't hot. fly unless they lose life. Mm. So, they can gain life and their guy will get bigger, but their guy doesn't fly unless they lose life. So, okay, which they currently can't. Mm -hmm. So, the token will keep blocking on Raul's behalf and buy me time. Mm -hmm. Like, their guy's going to be huge. I can't do anything about that, but they're not currently killing Raul, so... <clears throat> They will make me chump block forever, though. Not yeah, you just really need a swamp in early winter. <sighs> There's a part of me that genuinely wants to minus Rao to get rid of, like, the two extra lands. What? He's very likely going to die next turn. I know. It's a question of, like, how much can I make them spend to kill Ral? Like, if I uptick him, that's another 1-1, one, one, and then I play the Bruiser, and so they're only getting... Yeah, maybe I can make them waste a lot of time trying to kill Ral here. Probably Probably so, yeah, so Ral yeah. one, definitely, because mm -hmm. you, you really want that early winter. Yeah, I don't really need the 2-drop. Also, it's the other uh, red for the boar next turn, if mm -hmm. I need it. And then the boar's reach to hold off the flyer. Alright. And then they're really having to commit to kill Ral. Probably just having to grab it and their fire's about to be huge. Eh, it's only three power. That still doesn't kill Ral. Uh the an all out attack kills Ral here. Okay. Cool, that means they have to lose their uh two two twos to do it. So we block there, we keep Ral. Well, now granted they can kill like Ral next turn. <sighs> it's good, but I think we just keep upticking Ral. Together we, we can, can kill the flyer whatever you want. Unfortunately we can't really attack right no. now. No, attacking like, is awful for multiple reasons. Yep. It is nice, though, that we're... They seem... Are they mono-white? How? It's a sealed deck. How did they get this many white cards? Who gave them this pile of white cards to play with? So, this is rabbit response, right? Yeah. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense here? Ah. I mean, if it was rabbit response, it should just go face. <laughs> yeah. That's true. No no business killing Rao when they can kill me instead. 
Uh, white doesn't have a trample trick. This is just me chumping with the 1-1, one, one, so. Yep. So it's not rabbit response, and now they've realized that they don't actually have an out to Rao. But since they didn't attack him, now mm -hmm. I get to keep making 1-1s. One, you get to be my protege today. I mean, I would have slammed the 7-6, because if I block and kill it, then there stoats a 7-7 seven, seven first strike lifelink. Oh, yeah. Like, I never win against that thing until I draw early winter. I actually hold the lands, because I want to discard them to Rao later. Alright. Deck's great, magic's great. Rao Zarek will, in fact, kill the mono-white aggro deck. All by his lonesome. That's neat. Or flyer again, because... How does that help? I have a boar. I don't know. They literally have <laughs> to do it on the other intrepid rabbit in order to threaten to trade with any of my creatures. Because then it's a 5-4. Nope. 4-4 four, four stoke's not good enough. I mean, if the Stoat attacks, it's probably Crumb and Get It, then. Like, that's the only thing I can think of at that point. Uh, Jump with the 1-1, yep. Going? Yep. Keep the Unfortunately, all of your stuff is dying. Yeah. Part of me wants to minus Rao now to actually draw the cards while he's still alive. Uh, if you plus him again, you will have enough blockers that he's not going to die if they commit to an attack. They haven't committed to an attack yet. Also, Paw Patch is an instant, right? So yes. even if they were going to get in for Together enough damage to somehow current. kill him, you can... Or flyer out of the air. Yeah, I can shoot the flyer down. Yeah, I'm the board to block one of their three power creatures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. We we are going to try and kill Ral Zarek now. So four or five can block the two two safely with rabbit response, right? It yeah. can also block it with crumb and get it safely. Yep, it would have to be multiple tricks at that point, so... 4-5 on the 2-2. Two, two. Um... 2 two, three on the 3-2? No, because they just activate the Warren Elder at that point. Oh, right, he actually has his thing. Yeah, so... I can try and eat two of the rabbits. 5-5 five, five can block a 3-2 in 3 safely. It would have to be Rabbit Response specifically at that point. Or Crumb and get it. Or Crumb and get it. So... The 2-3 can block a 1-1. One, one. I'm debating how much I want to eat versus how much I want to... Save Rao? To save Rao, yeah. Because right now, both of those are getting what through. What if the 1-1s does have to block the 9-8? Oh, wait, no, you already it have It doesn't it. have to block the 9-8 if I'm letting Rao die. So, which I'm not sure if I'm letting Rao die or not. Because... Block there. Uh, you have two of them on the same Rao oh. token. Oops. You do? Yes. I see two lines going towards the rabbit token. We have the 2-3 and the 5-5 five, five on a single 1-1. One, one. Ah. Yeah, we're going to be using up the time banks here. Alright, so if we block there... And then we throw the 2-2 two, two on the other 1-1 one, one that's getting through. And this 1-1... One, one. On the 9-8... If that's enough damage that Rao doesn't die here when he takes four? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, you're out All of right. time anyway. See what it is. 
Is it actually rabbit response? Because rabbit response. Ah, sonar strike. Um, that will let kill him. Yep. Him. Okay. Got him. Oh right, they have a bat. Mm-hmm. All right, so they buff their guys. Morale takes four, goes to one. Yep. Okay. I ran out of time anyway. You ought to knock that off. Hey, go to my turn. The two bodies in a trench coat? <sighs> Probably. Um, so we have to plus Rao because that's all he can do here. Thanks for the helping pop. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. That you do does... still have the board to stop the flyer, though. Yeah. Alright, fine. Four stops the flyer, and they can't double activate, so the four four stops the two two. Mm -hmm. There's a favorite passage. If they get another color, oh my god, they do have another color. They've been missing another color this whole time. What is it for? What is their green spell that they couldn't cast? For protect. Uh, that'd be bad, because that, that is... I'm waiting for the winter so I can kill the stupid 11-10. Ah! Bounce the 3-2, yep. Oh, you guys an infinity plus one, infinity plus one, so... I mean, not quite yet, it's still only 12, but once it gets to, like, 22 or something where I can eat my food and still die to it if it ever got through. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How many cards do I have left in my deck? Because I do need to kill them after all of this is done. <clears throat> you know, find the early winter, kill the 1413. Start actually putting pressure I mean, on their left order. have an attack here. No. Yeah. Ah, cool. Now I can kill the 2-2. Oh, yes. The 2-2 two -two specifically you need yep. to kill. Yes, the 2-2 two -two has actually been I a problem this whole time. So, here. while they're tapped out... Well, gotta work with what's available. Okay. And that brings Raul up to a healthy enough thing where I can minus him and get rid of these forests now. Yep. Hey, Still don't have a great attack, though. Still have to play defensively. Hmm. They did it. Yep. They got their guy up to 16 power. Or 15 power. No, they only gain life once. They get two lands, they only gain life once. Alright, they have finally found all of the forests that they've been missing in the top half of their <laughs> deck. Uh, the best part is they've only played this guy and the heaped harvest. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't even need those forests. Apparently. Uh. One one as as is tradition. Mm-hmm. Uh, early winter. No. Nope. Not yet. I'll just invent early a solution. Early winter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How much block do you have? One, unfortunately. So... And it takes one of your other lands to use it? Yep. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not actually a problem, like, you can play the Cultivator. I know. Blue, because you're yep. using it. Let me just hold up Paw Patch and Saver for right now. Like, part of me wants to savor either the stoat or the flyer, but the flyer's not really that much of a problem. Uh, forest, forest, Fountainport Bell. Let's grow my guy. Do it too. <laughs> uh... Oh no, they could block with the 1 2. I was like, do I attack with the 1 1 here? Because most of their guys. Oh no, it's the other way around. It's the 1 1's come up. Ooh. That's 
terrifying, potentially. That is extra cards drawn and extra power on their guy, so, you know, usual problems. Not even bothering to put it on any of their other things yet. Did I forget to plus Rao last turn? No, you minus him. Oh, right, I drew cards, right. Okay, I'm like, wait, I didn't make an extra otter. Did I mess up? And the answer is no, not yet. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm still a mana off of holding that up. Alright, so we plus one Rao. Make more otters. Otter to otter? I need some help. No nothing, nothing ever goes wrong by adding more otters. Uh, one, two, three. Sure. Oh, that guy's big enough now to block whatever he needs to, except for the 16-15. Yep. There's going to come a point in time where I start attacking them because the 16-15 is tapped. That uh, draws them a card. How many cards? I have 17, they have 18. Okay, so we're about even on cards, so I don't have to worry about that. I just have to worry about the thing that gives their giant doomsday creature trample. Mm-hmm. Keep ah, playing? cool, it's coming at me now. Which is the same difference, because that, that's still an otter. They've their... realized they are never killing Rao. Yep. Rao is no longer the problem. Alright, so... Plus one Rao, make another dude. We have this guy, so we, we can... can the current. We can offspring again. Still have Black Man open. Ah, we're gonna decline. I'm keeping the food for right now. My guy's big enough and... <sighs> oh, they have bricked. Hooray! You are literally finding Going to kill them, yes. away from killing this. I know I am! <laughs> uh... What's Rao's ultimate if I get him there? Um, draw three cards, you get an emblem with instant sorcery spells you cast have Storm. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see Early Winter just ending them at that point. Or Overprotect. You know, whichever I'm feeling at the time. Oh my god, if you actually kill that 17-16 and they try you and put the counters on the flyer? Yep. Or they try and put it on the lifelink dude and I get to savor it, you know. Whichever one I'm feeling at the time. <sighs> Alright. Is it time to send a creature at them? If I send one of the 4-4s, four they double block with the 3-3s, three but that kills the 3-3 three three that can draw them cards if they top deck another one of these or a way to bounce it, so... Like another Sticky Tongue Sentinel? If you really want to, you can kill both of the three threes, but I don't know that that's correct. I mean, I, I guess they I can double block with the rat. I really don't see them blocking here anyway. Hey, right. Unless they that's just true. want to get rid of your 4-4 four four that bad. They're 37. Yeah, that's true. We can start whittling then. Now they're like, finally, tapped a creature. I can attack with everything. As they draw another one. Mm-hmm. I'm actually waiting for the opponent to just, like, throw their hands up and attack with everything. Honestly. I saw it was a black card and I got mm -hmm. excited for a second. Alright, keep making dudes. Together we can shift the current. Uh, do I attack with both? I probably can afford to at this point. Either you can afford to or you were never going to. Yep. Alright, they can only do that for three more turns before it becomes an issue for them. Well, they didn't play their land immediately, so are they trying to scare you into thinking they have it? No, they have another rabbit. They did have another rabbit, so now they're going to get to draw a card and Unless gain more... Unless you want to double saver the Harvest Tide host. I kind of don't want to double saver the Harvest Tide post. Alright. Like, I don't think that's good enough. 
Ah, they're gonna try and buff the... No, buffing the... Oh no, because they can buff the bat multiple times. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it might smite their bat out of the air nope, or something. they are buffing ah. the scope. But they buffed the... They buffed the bat with one of them. I'm confused now. They forgot that they weren't going to be able to get in either way. Nope, they are just <sighs> spreading around buffs. Mm-hmm. Which means that... They have another ah. bat. Another bat. <sighs> the obvious one, of course. The obvious one, of course. Limiting gameplay. Yep. I mean, I need to get him to 10. This is going to take forever. Well, I found my swamp. I can finally cast my black spells. I hope you've got bottled lightning to share. Uh, so they have another 3-2. Okay. Like, three more turns of this at this rate, until they either find their thing that kills me... In which case, I might have to double saver their one guy just to stop them from killing me with overprotect or something. Long stock brawl to kill the 5-5. Five five. Um... Did they gift you the fish? Why I, did they gift you the fish? I don't know if they did. I'm wondering if I double saver their flyers here. Since I'm going to need to kill them soon anyway. I mean, you can let them attack first. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so... Kill my guy. They did give me the fish. Just in case. Just in case you had the, like, two of the Eldrazi enchantments? That aren't in this set? Alright, so that block's there. We have one blocker. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So we savor that. Another genius idea by Ron. You paw patch the other one or savor it? <sighs> paw patch is fine. Save. <sighs> yeah, only because that way they don't get to um, put the counters on the stowed if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. So that gets Raul up to eight now. It's coming together. Yes. Yes, it does. But it also gets rid of a bunch of the spells that I had. Figure something out. Nine. You get to be my protege today. Like to forge a bunch of those cards? Yeah, probably. One, two, two. Eh, not him. This one first. At some point, they have to start blocking. We're getting there. We're not at that point yet. Okay, because it's going to be really ridiculous if you manage to, like, overprotect both of your guys and kill them next turn if they don't block. Ooh. Jesus. Yep, that is one big buff bunny. To give the twenty-one twenty plus one power shore. Yep. Why not? They are not even attacking anymore. They're off it. Well, so you kill the ten ten. Ten right? ten. Yes, absolutely. And that puts ten. That gives Raul ten loyalty. So. Aha! A solution. Plus him to keep him going. Yeah. Because I can't do the cool thing anymore. You're... <laughs> <laughs> they have finally lost the will to live. Okay, that's a good that's a good one to end it on. All right, we're gonna call it there. So I hope you enjoyed midweek magic. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day.